What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get in the tea room. Nick exposed for scamming. I don't know. Let's get it. So previously, I spoke on Ty actually being spotted in another one of Daisha's Snapchats. People are stating that she appeared to be pregnant. Now, Ty did speak on this, and she asked everyone to stop watching Daisha's videos to try to see if they can see her somewhere in the background. Then she goes on to post a description of fibroids now it states large fibroids can weigh several pounds and add weight to the abdomen and pelvis in rare cases they can weigh as much as four or five pounds it also states fibroids can cause bloating and swelling in the abdomen and pelvis which can make you look and feel like you've gained weight this can be especially noticeable if you have multiple fibroids in severe cases the excess weight can make you appear pregnant Ty then states I have five now stay out my business so basically stating that she has five fibroids so now Ty is stating this is the reason that her stomach appears to look like she's pregnant so you guys leave your opinions below but let's move on to this next topic with Neek a few days ago I reported that Carmen was exposed for scamming and since then I've been getting multiple messages that they too have been scammed by someone that an influencer has posted now Neek has fell into this category as well now she posted this guy on her instagram i'm assuming of course stop giving out y'all money if you're not subscribing to a patreon subscribing to a twitch um uh purchase something off of a registry what are you doing <laughs> I don't understand. Of course, they're getting paid for this, and then their supporters are going over to these pages and giving these people their hard earned money. So, this young lady texts the guy and said, Hey, Neek sent me, and he's basically asking, How much money do you have to work with? Now, she sent him a total of almost $1,400. So after she realized this was a scam, she tried to dispute the charges, but they were denied. Then she reached out to Neek and said, hey, please help someone you posted scam me. Normally don't come to the internet about anything, um, but this video I really hope hits at Neek uh, from uh, the kid. From Nikki King, um, Nick Brown. Oh, I'm like for, uh, for Nick and King. What King got to do with it? Hey, uh, I just lost everything. A guy she posted literally just took everything from me. He didn't take it. You gave it to him. And I'm not trying to be funny, but why would you do that? I, I never understood why y'all would do that. Like, just because they posting it don't mean you have to do it. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm a mother of twins. And that was everything I had. She was better off keeping her $1,400. Betting on some basketball uh, apps that's legal or something. Shots of everything. I wouldn't have never did that. I feel so stupid. I feel so stupid. And he ain't giving it back. So hopefully this can just spread some awareness because maybe Neek and Carmen don't even know that these people are out here scamming their supporters. And if you have thought about maybe investing in one of these type of things, then now you know that they're just taking people's money and they're not getting anything in return. But let's move on to this next topic with Carmen, Corey, and Corey's new girlfriend. Now, Corey's new girlfriend was on then, TikTok. I would, I'm sorry. I wouldn't have never gave 1400 I would have gave more so like $14. You got uh, maybe $140. Never give more than okay. Live and people were asking happens. her like, "Don't you see what type of person Corey is?" and she's stating, "I'm not the type of girl that's going to allow Corey to treat me any type of way. I'm I not agree. Like Carmen." Yeah, people only do what you allow them to do. And that's what I 
And that's really just going to what I'm just going to stamp it on. Like, yeah. whatever y'all seen, is, whatever y'all seen any man, like, forget Corey, whatever y'all seen any nigga do to any bitch in the past, uh, let me tell you like this, the shit not sliding over here. Period. Yep. It's, it never gave back. And so at the end of the day, I will leave. I will leave. I will kick your ass to the curb. What? I'm just like, that's why the shit don't phase me. Because it's just like, I'm a serial nigga lever. That is, that is my gift. I will wake up tomorrow and be off you. Get the fuck out of my face. We're done. Like, it's, it's just, it's simple math. It's to me, it's simple math. Like, I don't, I don't even know, like. I agree with the simple math. Y'all yeah, don't have to worry about me. I'm good. I'm good over here. We're going to look at this for eight minutes. So if you leave, I understand. I can't tell all that sobbing I did. Yeah, for sure I did all that sobbing. Because that was I also know how to take accountability. If I'm wrong in a situation and I did something wrong, now why the fuck? If I'm wrong in a situation, um, I'm going to apologize and I'm going to take accountability. That's just what that is. Yes, this is my room here. It looks really bad right now. Like, I need to wash this. I need to wash this. But yeah, y'all, y'all got to understand that you are... Every nigga I date is not going to get the same side of me. Every woman that I can get the same side get the same get the same side of him. That's it. Like you just is life. Like it's just how it goes. Girl advice to you is don't care what people say or think about you. Yeah, I don't. Like I double um and I feel like we work well together and like being around him like I just feel at like peace and stuff. And I care and about stuff. him. And to be honest, to be lived, I've been with him for however many days straight. I've been with him since May 31st straight. Like we have not left each other's presence a couple of hours tops. Well, friend, it's only June 25th. <laughs> that ain't nothing. But other than that, like we, we sleep together every single night. We're together every single day. And I usually get tired of people so fucking fast. Like, or like, I get tired of like, I hate being around somebody that long. No, but it's long for me because after two days, my nigga, I'm like, oh, I don't want to be around you. So June 25th is long for her, got it. Like, I don't want to be around your face, like, at all. And um, I don't feel that way all the way yet, if that makes sense. Like, I do need my space and stuff like that. That's why, like, I'm over here. But, yeah, I just got here, y'all. I just got here. It ain't no thing. Like, honeymoon honeymoon phase. I also, to my defense, y'all, I don't feel like I'm in a honeymoon phase. The reason why I don't feel like I'm in a honeymoon phase is because it has not been peaches and creams. Peaches and creams. <laughs> Is where I'm going to end this. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.